Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for joining our live webinar, um, AI is Your Second Set of Eyes in Radiology. Uh, I'm really excited to announce our integration, uh, SignalPet and Keystone Packs, and today's going to really be a conversation about both of the companies and how we are, have come together here. I have um, on the line with me here, Eric Berger. Eric, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time to join us. Likewise. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for, for hosting and, and to the entire Signal Pet team for uh, helping to put this together. We're really excited about the, the partnership and the seamless streamlined workflow and, and capabilities that, that uh, this integration is going to provide to our users. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. And, and obviously myself, Mike Delinka here, I'm going to be taking everyone, everyone through today. So where we're going to start off here kind of quickly is for those of you who, um, who are on, we're going to ask and have an interactive poll question on a couple of these just to get to know your hospitals a little bit better. Um, so we want to know on average how many radiographic studies are done at your practice per week. Um, you should see on your screen popping up now an opportunity to select a few different um, options. If you'd go ahead and quickly select those, that would be um, wonderful and greatly appreciated. And there'll be a couple more questions um, towards the end of this, this here. So I want to start off, um, all of you who are on with us today and have been receiving uh, our emails, sorry for bombarding you, but um, obviously know a lot about Keystone Packs and are happy um, clients with what they're offering. And really, they're just incredible people that offer a great technology. And um, what you're probably wanting to learn a little bit more about by joining today was, was SignalPet. And so just to go over a bit about our company, um, our company was founded by Dr. Neil Shaw, the original founder and former chief medical officer of Blue Pro Veterinary Partners. Um, obviously, uh, an incredible specialty group that, that was out there. And our goal here is to bring advanced technologies to the veterinary industry. Um, and we were able to do this by creating the largest database of annotated vet, uh, annotated vet radiographs in the world. And we're excited to be working alongside Keystone here. Um, with our signal pet product being in hundreds of hundreds of hospitals with thousands of veterinarians who are utilizing it already. So I want to talk a little bit today about what is signal pet, what are the capabilities, show you a bit more about how it works, um, and then lastly walk you through a case study and show how the integration itself works that Eric's going to jump in and help show to you as, as familiarity that you have with, with uh, Keystone already. So SignalPet is a AI technology um, that utilizes machine learning and artificial intelligence to assess radiographs in real time for normals and abnormals for different test results. And the best way that I could explain this to you is just how you look at blood work, right? You run a Chem 22, spits back 22 normals and abnormals for you. Our system does the exact same thing for over 50 different radiographic findings in 10 minutes or less doesn't matter the time of the day or night, 24-7, 365. And really what we did here was we wanted to cover what are the most common reasons that uh, radiology is done. And we see it's coughing, vomiting, diarrhea, and lameness. And then we asked ourselves, what are the most common uh, routine abnormal radiographic findings that we could help them to, to provide those test results for? And as well as providing client-friendly, easily shareable radiology reports right then and there for you while the client and the patient are in the exam room. So as you can see here, uh, this is a list of the current capabilities. When you think about um, artificial intelligence and machine learning, a lot of times people just want to think it's a magic pill that solves everything for them. Um, in reality, what it is, is it is an incredible tool in your toolbox when assessing your radiographs. And as you can see here, we really tried to cover those most common routine abnormal radiographic findings that take up about 85% of what walks through your door um, right off the bat. So we're focusing a lot on pulmonary patterns, um, automated vertebral heart scores, uh, different issues inside of the abdomen, whether it be GDVs, linear foreign bodies, small intestinal obstructions, and a lot of things in the bone and joint, as you can see here. And we're always focusing on additional capabilities. Uh, we're excited to announce that we just released a uterine distension this, uh, actually just yesterday, um, as well as thoracic mass and a couple of other areas that we're moving forward with. And so 
as you can really see, we're always increasing the capabilities of the signal pet as we move along as well. And so I want to actually take just a moment. I think this is a good place to actually showcase how signal pet works. And then Eric's going to be able to jump in towards the end here and show how that integration between signal pet and um, Keystone works. So I'm just going to jump over here to, to a screen that you can see now of signal pet. And pretty much what this is, is this is signal pets uh, main screen where you'll come in it's just like a web application that you can access your radiographs from and as you'll see here all of your findings are found in this section here and that's where things really start to change the way that machine learning works is it doesn't differentiate between early mid or late stage of a disease it differentiates between the confidence level that that normality or abnormality exists in the study so when we click in here, before even the doctor clicks in, red you can see as being abnormal, vertebral heart score or mid-abdominal mass or uh, pulmonary mass, so on and so forth. Um, or you could see here possible abnormal for splenomegaly, uh, hepatomegaly, and so forth. And you just click in right here, and I'm gonna go through this really quickly so you can quickly see it. This is an, a, a modern viewer. You're able to do all the different capabilities you would want, you know, side-by-side -side comparison, uh, zooming in and out, contrast, invert, rotate, and flip. Just click home to take it back to normal and just click on here. But where I really want to bring your attention to is to the far right-hand side here, where all of the different um, test results will come in for you in 10 minutes or less, 365, 24-7. And it's again, it's quite simple. It's based off confidence level. So four bars green is normal, and two bars green is likely normal. Four bars red is abnormal and two bars red is possible abnormal. So as you can see here, it's reading out for everything it knows how to do in the thoracic area. Um, it finds an abnormal mass. You can click here to identify where that region of interest is that the abnormality is found in that blue line. And as you can see here, a red line and a correlating red line on each side. This is the AI or machine learning now speaking to the doctor. And what it's saying is doctor, um, we pulled our information to assess an abnormal pulmonary mass test result, both from images one and images two. Had we only been able to identify that mass in image one, it would have only highlighted that image. And as we can see here, it does the exact same thing for normal, uh, green and a correlating green bar from the lateral, which makes sense for VHS measurement, giving you an automated vertebral heart score found down here of 9.3. It goes through and continues to give all the different information um, on everything that it knows how to do, right? Normal test results are many times just as important as abnormal test results. Looking through here at a possible enlarged liver or hepatomegaly. And at this point, as we mentioned before, in 10 minutes or less, is going to create a client-friendly radiology report. As you can see here, this is very similar to blood work, has all of your hospital information, logo, always attaches the radiographic images. And this really adds to client compliance client transparency, and client satisfaction. So that's kind of going over a little bit more about how SignalPet looks and how it works. Um, I want to take you through a case here um, in a brief time period. And I know the point of this, of this um, webinar here was kind of show the integration and show a bit more about SignalPet and, and, in, and in also uh, a real use case. This is a hospital, um, obviously uh, a hospital that is utilizing SignalPet. Um, that had a uh, Chico, a four-year-old intact male American bulldog that came in that looked like it was coming in for some um, cranial cruciate um, lameness issues. A couple of the associates who were there received these radiographs, and as you can see here, Signal Pet identified that there was stifle effusion in this case. But what was interesting, based on the physical examination, other signalment at hand, that the associates had run, it didn't really seem like that was the main reason behind the lameness in that four-year-old Chico. And actually, when they continued to look through, and in that 10-minute time period, right, while the, the patient and the client are still in the exam room, they continued to look through, and actually SignalPet had mentioned and showcased to them a possible abnormal or abnormal prostate megaly that we saw here. And what was really interesting is as they looked through it, that helped to um, push the associates in the right direction, thinking again, okay, this is a intact bulldog. Uh, we have potential for some issues there in the prostate and ended up, obviously the doctor's the one who makes that final diagnosis and puts that signalment together, but 
SignalPet was here, in this case, critical in helping find that proper uh, diagnosis, which they diagnose of prostatitis here, and really help them to create better treatment outcomes, create that report for the client, and actually be able to discuss with them what they found, and that they always receive that quick second set of eyes as best quality medicine for their hospital. So to kind of go through a few more just overall reasons of what SignalPet is bringing to the table. And one of the things that we're so excited about in this integration with Keystone is that really that is what uh, Asteris and their product Keystone do best, right? They are really incredible um, as your PAC system, being able to store those images, working inside of that radiology component, which is the same area we work with, and hence that really um, easy synergy between the two, the two groups. And what we're providing um, to you as the clinician and to your hospital is that diagnostic support and reliability, right? Doctors really appreciate getting a second set of eyes and confirmation on their radiographs every single time, right? Uh, whether it's around confirmation, increased confidence, support around um, making sure tunnel vision doesn't become an issue with your team, there's that diagnostic support that's there always. And it happens at the point of care right there in 10 minutes in your hospital utilizing your current hardware and software through through keystone which is a really incredible and great component it's accessible all the time for you whether you're 24-hour er a gp you're a doctor that stays an hour later in the evening it's going to be functioning for you right then and there and that's from from easily from your keystone um, it's affordable what we do is it's ten dollars per study um, all of your images are coming over to us to be reviewed by the AI. You're always getting that report. It gets uh, pushed back right into the locations you need. And it's just easy to use, right? As you saw before, it's a click of one or two buttons and you're, and you're on your way. And so this is why hundreds of hundreds of hospitals and thousands of veterinarians are finding and utilizing value from SignalPet's um, AI-supported radiology. And I want to hand it over to you, um, Eric, here to kind of talk through this really great integration that we've that we've created together, and how this can make it even easier for um, for the hospitals that use Keystone to be using uh, AI with their radiology now. Absolutely, thanks for handing it over, Mike. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, everyone can see the the incredible value that uh, that Signal Pet brings to the table. Um, to further that, obviously, Asteris and and Keystone is all about streamlining workflows, providing a, a seamless integration uh, that will really provide you uh, faster and more efficient workflows. So within Keystone itself, the beauty of the integration is that you'll be able to not only auto route your studies directly to SignalPet through the Keystone platform that you're used to using, but you will have full access to not only viewing the reports within Keystone, those results will also be accessible within the Keystone user interface for accessing their user interface within the SignalPet viewer. And the reports will also attach to the study. So you can print them, you can attach them to other components like practice management uh, software uh, as well. If you have practice management integration in place, of course, those images will also flow back to that practice management patient record, and you can access the Signal Pet report directly from there. So this screen here is an example of how you can access Signal Pet directly from our Keystone Omni platform that you're used to using and, and in on a regular basis. So you'll notice on the far right hand side, uh, we've added a Signal Pet button. When clicking on that Signal Pet button, it will launch you directly into the Signal Pet viewer so that you can access all of those various signals um, and, and view the abnormalities or regulars that it has uh, assigned after uh, viewing the images. And then you'll also notice that the report will come back as an attachment to the patient record within Keystone. That will all happen automatically. Basic workflow is that you'll acquire your images just as you normally would from your imaging modality. Those studies will route to Keystone. They're forwarded along to SignalPet in the background. There's no manual intervention. And then again, in about 10 minutes or less, those results will flow right back to your patient record so you can access them. 
This screen here is just a quick demonstration of how you will access and view the Signal Pet viewer within the Keystone Omni platform. So when you click that Signal Pet button, it will take you right to the Signal Pet UI. And from here, you'll have full access just as you would um, by accessing Signal Pet directly through their, through their browser-based user interface. And you'll have all of, of course, the, the regular manipulation capabilities in there. And then next, we have the report. So this is, again, attached to the study as a PDF. You can go ahead and download it as such. You can print it. You'll also have the ability to easily email. So if you take advantage of the email functionality from Keystone, this report will also be attached and be, uh, be able to be sent along with your images. So again, very streamlined workflow, very simplified. Uh, this next uh, quick screenshot here is just to show you again that you can access the Signal Pet viewer directly from the viewer itself within Keystone Omni, as well as attach, or I should say, access the Signal Pet attached report. So, of course, any questions that, that come along with that, we're happy to demonstrate it uh, with you, certainly alongside Signal Pet as well. We're happy to answer any questions with regard to that. No, thank you, Eric. And, and you know, I know that together we're, we have a lot of um, mutual clients who are utilizing Signal Pet through Keystone, uh, Asteris' integration. Um, everyone is really happy with it. Um, as, as we know, Keystone is an integral part of their radiology workflow process. And it was really helpful for them, uh, those who utilize Signal Pet, to just put it directly in there. So it's been great to work with, with your team and be able to do that. And as you know, we're, we've worked with a bunch of, of clients together that have really enjoyed that process and it's made it, as you mentioned, quite, quite seamless. And what I'd, what I'd like to take out of this, and, and we really appreciate everybody coming in and joining today because um, this is just helping them show how two great different technologies can come together to really provide an incredible um, value add within their workflow process that Keystone has so has, has made already in such a great way. And so what this is going to provide is that reliable radiographic results in a short time period. As we mentioned before, diagnostic confidence, confirmation, supporting around tunnel vision, um, that consistency in that standardization across radiology, utilizing Keystone to make that an easy shareable um, engagement with clients at that point of care, and then really, and also very importantly here, is just that it's as simple as, right, Eric? I mean, it's as simple as turning it on, really. Um, exactly. From, from the Keystone side. And, and so what, before we jump into this, this poll question here, um, I want to actually go back here and just, and just mention what, what we're doing uh, here today is helping everyone who's on and also um, everybody else who uses SignalPed and who uses Keystone to be aware of both of the offerings that are out there. And, Part of what we'd like to offer today is um, a one week free trial for anybody who's interested in testing out the value at no cost, trying it out through Keystone, through SignalPet. Um, and we'll show you just in a moment how you can actually go ahead and sign up with that. You can obviously always reach out to, to your representative at uh, Keystone. I know they've got a really great relationship with all of their, their clients. And so I'm sure you're on that emailing or texting basis. And if you're interested just to try it out, you can reach out to them as well. You can feel free to reach out to our um, team here at SignalPet to set a time to train your team on, on SignalPet, how it works, and then, and then uh, set up the integration. What's really great about this from a technical standpoint, and we always like to say this when talking with all of the clients, is this should just be, a, besides um, helping your team understand how SignalPet works, this should just be a couple minute process to get everything set up and running. And I mentioned that this is interactive and we wanted to have a couple of additional questions in here just to understand what are the top ways that uh, AI supported radiology could support you today after you kind of went through this, whether that's from a timeliness uh, perspective, a confidence perspective, confirmation, um, simplicity of workflow. There's a lot of different ways that this integration and AI can support. So if you, if you don't mind taking just a moment here to, to fill that out, I appreciate it seeing seeing those folks fill that out at the, the moment here. Thank you very much for, for doing that. We're gonna open it up for any questions or answers that might be in there. Again, if you're interested in, in uh, attaining that free trial, uh, learning a bit more about SignalPet, um, you can feel free to reach out to your representative with uh, Keystone Osiris. You can go to signalpet.com 
backslash request dash a dash demo. You can go to Signal Pet's website, signalpet.com, and request a demo from there. Um, happy to happy to connect with you guys in any way. So I, I see here we have one main question that's come in that I'd like to take a second to answer, which is a typical question that we get, and, and actually probably Keystone has this, this question as well, which is around uh, radiographic quality and how that affects uh, the radiographs. One of the interesting things here is we've actually trained our system um, in real live practice, meaning it helps to actually be able to identify what is good quality and poor quality radiographs. And actually, we're able to identify both uh, over rotation, um, uh, sorry, severe rotation, overexposure, underexposure, and actually be able to make sure that the AI is not reading out on those radiographs if that's the case. And what's amazing though is the AI is, is a bit sharper than the human eye. It's able to remove a lot of that noise that might possibly be in there um, and actually then be able to um, help in, uh, assess those radiographs in the right way. And as I showed you in the beginning, you saw those, uh, when you clicked on the button, you saw the left and greens that came on the, on the left-hand side uh, no greens or reds would populate in the instance that that was a radiograph that was just so, um, you know, the quality was so poor that you couldn't read out on it. And I, I see one more question here, which is around pricing, um, asking how that works from both the Keystone Asteris and the um, Signal Pet side. I'll start with the Signal Pet side and then and then work to Asteris side. Um, from the Signal Pet point of view, it's a uh, we're a modern technology company, so there's no hardware fees, there's no software fees, there's no tech support fees, no sign-up fees, no contracts, no monthly subscriptions, just purely based off usage. And it's $10 per um, study. Uh, it doesn't matter how many images are in that study. And we only charge uh, if it's a canine or a feline. We don't do other types of uh, species, so there's no charge there. If we don't provide you with any test results, it's pretty rare, but say that um, you did a skull shot only, and as you see, we didn't have any capabilities there, you'd never be charged. And if you do multiple studies of the same patient in the same day, you would only be charged one time. Um, so that's how our charging works from, from the Asteris Keystone side. Um, my suggestion would be, and I know Eric's on this call, but to reach out, every person has a different relationship there, they'll be happy to go over um, how their pricing uh, structure works. Um, as obviously they have a bit of a different model and many of you who are on this call are, are already um, are already clients with them. Eric, anything you want to add on that or, or best for them just to reach out to the representative yeah. at, at Keystone? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can actually reach out to me directly. I know most of you have my contact information already. Uh, if not, it's eric, E-R-I-K, at asteris.com or my phone number is area code 805 eight four four three zero four six and for those international callers uh, country code is plus one I'm happy to speak with you um, we do have a small monthly subscription fee um, and that's really in order to um, cover our ability to continue to support and approve upon the integration uh, obviously as it grows but happy to discuss that with you and uh, make sure that you get all the information that you need from that side yeah, and I think the key the key thing here that that you're I'm hearing you say, Eric, and from our standpoint as well is, we we want to provide value to your hospitals at at um, an affordable rate, right? This is really a, a way to provide that additional second set of eyes inside of a quality workflow process. And so, I, I want to be respectful of everyone's time. I really appreciate everyone joining us today. Um, thank you, Eric, so much, and Asteris and Keystone for this integration and joining me here. Um, it's been great to have you on. Really appreciate it. And um, Likewise, uh, thank you. Yeah, and for everyone who's out there, please feel free to reach out to, um, to Keystone Asteris or to us here at Signal Pet. We'd be happy to take you through a free trial. And, and thank you all so much for joining. Thank you.